Hi guys, so today I am here to do a tag video. Nobody tagged me in this tag, I am not that YouTube cool, but this has been one of my favorite videos to watch lately. I've been like typing in the search bar the title of this tag to find more of them to watch because I think it's great. So yeah, oh, the title of the tag is the perfect palette tag, which you can probably tell from the title. But yeah, if you haven't seen somebody do this, which I'm sure you have, it's just basically going through um, some questions and answering with your favorite eyeshadow palettes. So let's just jump into it. I think eyeshadow palettes are amongst the greatest makeup inventions just because, you know, they can be really versatile and they come in cute packaging and it's just like this, you just need one of them to make a bunch of different looks. So I think it's cool. So yeah, let's do it. So the first question is best packaging, and I picked this because I bought it solely for the packaging. I had no idea how this product would work, I just needed it. And it is the Nude Tude Palette from The Bomb. And I'm not talking about the outside of it, I am talking about the inside. It is naked ladies with eyeshadows where their clothes should be. And I think, ooh, let me not blind you, I think it is so freaking cute. Um, it's it's along the lines of like the nude naked palettes, but there's some versatility in there too. There's some more pinky shades, some purpley shades. Um, there's dust everywhere, but I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. I just recently got this and I really, really like it. I love the bomb. I love their packaging. It reminds me of Benefit, but you know, this is just great. And I think it's funny that they have this same palette with different packaging without the naked ladies if you are um, conservative and don't like that kind of thing. But this is right up my alley. I mean, it's so cute. So yeah, I like this for packaging. And there goes the brush. And there goes the palette. Oh my gosh. The next question is best color payoff. And for this, I am choosing, along with everybody else, my naked palettes. I have both of these. It's really high up on my wish list for Christmas for the third one, even though I know it's sold out freaking everywhere. But the color payoff on these is incredible. Like, it's just, it's just, you can't beat it. Like, look at that. Like, you cannot beat it. All colors pay off well. It's not just like the gold ones or like the dark browns. They all pay off really, really well, and I love them. So, naked palettes for that one, faux show. The next question is most versatile, and this one I don't use a whole bunch, but it is a Stila Dream in Full Color Palette, and I got this last year for Christmas. I believe it was last year, and it's just, it's so pretty, number one. I don't, I don't know if you can still get this one, but they still have, they come out with something similar to this every year, so I'm sorry if you can't get this one, but um, it's just got a whole bunch of different colors in there, including blushes on the outside, which is the main reason I wanted it, because this is just a great, like, if you're going on a road trip, not ideal for airplanes, I don't think, but like, just if you're spending the night out somewhere, this is all you're going to need to get ready. And I think it's really, really cool. It's really pretty. There's blues, purples, greens, neutrals, blush. I think it's really versatile. So, yeah. And it's just cool. Like, it's this huge disc. So, it's very... I'm blinding you. But it's cool. I like it. And, yeah. The next question is the best one for travel. And for this one, I was kind of stumped because I want to say my Naked 2 palette, but I'm answering so many other questions with that. And when it comes down to, down to it, when I really am traveling, all I really take is this guy. This is the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. This is my most used palette, even though it's just matte colors. I have really dug into Naked 2 there, um, but it's just matte colors. So that's why I'm hesitant to say as my travel palette, because usually if I'm traveling, I'm going to do something fun and I'm going to want like a nicer eyeshadow look. But if I'm just going to do everyday looks, I like to bring this one just because it's matte. I know it's going to be easy to do. It will look good on me. So yeah. I'm gonna say this one. But I also threw a drugstore type palette in there. This is a eyeshadow trio from CoverGirl and Shimmering Sands. I think this is really great for travel because it's got three easy shades, a light, medium, and a dark. You can build them as much as you want in different areas, and I think that it's really, really great for travel. If you're wanting to pack light, you're, you don't do a lot with your eyeshadow, I think this is great and it's affordable, and yeah. The next question is biggest regret, and I actually don't have this to show you because I sold it in a blog sale type deal, but it was the, um, the Mermaid palette? Is that what it's called? No, that's not what it was called. I just want, I bought it to look like a mermaid. It was called the, the Too Faced Summer Eyes palette. Um, it had a coral color in there I really wanted. It had a teal and it had a pink and then some neutrals, but I just wasn't using it. I loved the palette, it just wasn't, I don't know, it just... I regretted buying it because I wasn't using it. I have colors similar to what was in there, and so I sold it on a blog sale. But, 
yeah, I mean, a lot of people love that palette, but for me it just wasn't what I wanted, so yeah. Best color names. This one was almost best packaging just because I'm obsessed with the outside of it, which is also what drew me to it, but this one is called A Few of My Favorite Things palette, and the names of the colors are things from the A Few of My Favorite Things song, like cream colored ponies, whiskers on kittens, woolen mittens, you got chocolate milk, dark chocolate, they're just fun names, and then raindrops on roses and melt into spring for the blush. So yeah, the names are just really, really great. They match the colors really well, and I think it's a lot of fun. This one's pretty versatile too, and good for traveling. I picked this for all the questions because I'm so obsessed. Um, but I'm actually going to be doing, this is completely making everything dark. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to be doing a complete review on this palette because I love it so much, and I want to get in depth and really talk about it. So subscribe and look out for that on my channel later because I'm obsessed with this and everybody needs one, so yeah. Next is the least used palette, and I do like this palette, but I really just don't use it, and it is the Too Faced, what is this called, Naked Eye. It's one of their boxed palettes, which I don't like the packaging of these. I'm going to stop buying them because they're too bulky, like, I don't know where to keep them in my bathroom. Um, and these colors are pretty, but it's colors I have in all these other palettes that I like so much more, so I just don't use them. Um, I do like the Satin Sheets color, it's like this pretty um, sheer pink color, um, but... I don't know. I mean, I do, I feel bad. I do like this palette. It's like this palette has feelings and it doesn't. I do like this palette. I just don't love the packaging, so I forget about it because I tuck it away. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what that is. Okay, so for most used, most loved, deserted island palette, I'm going to have to choose the Naked 2 palette just because... Out of the naked ones, so far I don't have the third one, but this one is my favorite. The packaging is amazing. You don't have to worry about sand getting in it on the desert island. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. I want to choose the Naked Basics palette, but that's so boring. I just don't know. Overall, this is just my favorite palette. If I could only choose one, it would be this. And I've dug into some of those colors there. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting to love the Naked 3 just as much. I'm really hoping to get that for Christmas. So yeah, that's the end of my palette tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something and I hope you're inspired to do it. I have no YouTube friends. You guys are my YouTube friends, so I tag you. And leave me a video response or a comment down below telling me you did it. And I will watch it because these are the best. So yeah, thanks you guys. I hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.